Hello everyone, this is the first of several tutorials about BATQ. BATQ is a software that I developed to um, make network analysis uh, a little bit easier and accessible. So what is BATQ? Right. BATQ um, is a software that provides a, a graphical user interface for network, an network analysis tool called BATFISH. Batfish has been developed for several years uh, to allow uh, network uh, professionals to analyze and troubleshoot uh, networks based on configuration files only. So the common approach right now is to use maybe a production network and test it, build a network and test it, or build a network in an emulator like GNS3 and uh, test it before applying configuration to production. Uh, Batfish allows you to take configuration files and uh, analyze, analyze them without actually needing the hardware. Um, to get the full capabilities of Batfish, you have to write code using Python and in particular using a Python module called uh, PyBatfish. Uh, um, understanding that this is probably not easy to do for everyone because of time, uh, constraints or because of you don't want to write large code to, to use it only once. Um, so I uh, thought of creating BATQ as a way to avoid that. Uh, so I wrote it using Streamlit, which is well-known Python library that allows uh, creation of uh, web, uh, web applications using Python very quickly and very easily. So uh, I combined Streamlit capabilities and Py uh, Batfish capabilities to create BatQ. BatQ is not supposed to be a um, um, replacement for the full capabilities of Batfish, but it's supposed to be a simple and interactive and flexible way to do uh, quick configuration checks or quick troubleshooting checks for network if you have the configuration files. So you can test the network uh, or test the configuration before apply them, applying them to uh, production, or you can uh, download configuration files and troubleshoot the problem that you have using uh, BATQ. So um, I will leave the discussion of the capabilities of BATQ to another tutorial, but in this one, I'm going to focus mostly on the installation. So uh, for installation, by the way, all the, the sources, all the, the software that I mentioned is open source, and these are the sources that I'm going to use. So uh, to know more about Batfish, you can go to www.batfish.org. And for the BatQ itself, you can go to github.com uh, mrtme slash bat-q to clone the software. Right. And you will find the detailed uh, instructions on the installation there. All right. So uh, to install or to use BATQ, you need two things. You need the BATFISH server itself, which usually supplied as a Docker file, or you can uh, build it from source, but the Docker, Docker uh, container is uh, usually enough. Um, so to run Docker and the, do and the Docker container for Batfish, you need, uh, according to the documentation, you need dual core CPU, 8 gigabyte of RAM, and 256 gigabyte of hard drive. That's usually uh, a regular specifications or a specification for a regular laptop, right? Uh, actually, laptop probably more powerful than that. Um, Batfish can, uh, the server can work on its own separate machine. You need another separate machine for the BatQ uh, to install the Streamlit and install other um, Python uh, uh, modules and uh, run it from there. Right? So um, that's not necessary to have two machines. You can combine them both in, in one. So this is what I'm going to do in this tutorial. I'm just going to install uh, the Batfish server and BatQ in the same uh, machine. I'm going to use Linux in this uh, tutorial, but Windows work fine. In fact, I developed the software using Windows, so uh, Windows will work as well. All right, so I already um, um, had uh, a virtual machine, a Linux virtual machine, Ubuntu uh, operating system uh, running and ready. So I'm going to start by uh, installing uh, Batfish. So Batfish requires uh, Docker. 
so before I start I need to uh, look into uh, the inst installation instructions for docker so for docker I'm gonna go to um, so this is the installation um, instructions for docker on Ubuntu there are multiple method methods uh, what I used is the docker apt repository method so I'm just going to put this on the side and copy and paste all these instructions and I'm just going to switch back and forth between these two screens so you can follow with me um, so as usual we'll start with update and upgrade Okay, the upgrade is done, and the next step, just copying the lines here. and update again now I need to install docker Docker installation is done um, now to check if everything is okay I can uh, pull and run uh, the hello world container or image all right so that um, shows me that everything is good uh, usually if I just type docker here I cannot run it without uh, without having uh, um, um, uh, root privileges so I need to add another line to allow me to use docker without root privileges you can go just copy this line here all right so now if I go docker image list I have oh you have to actually um, log out and log in again so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna pause for a minute okay I'm back so after you change uh, the after you uh, use the light uh, or execute the last command you need to exit uh, and then log in again so now if i do uh, if I execute the command docker image list i will see the hello world uh, image uh, and uh, that's the only image that we have right now 
so the next step will be actually uh, now that I finished installing docker the next step will be installing batfish itself right. so for batfish the installation um, they have uh, a container or image called batfish on all in one so uh, I'm gonna copy these commands so the uh, website the batfish documentation will show me I'm just gonna move to it right now right. so um, the batfish read the docs uh, will give you all the documentation that you need uh, to explore batfish um, for the installation it's as simple as pulling the batfish uh, image and run it so I'll go back to my uh, virtual machine here and pull the image all right so that is it um, I can go back here and now I can run the container so for that um, this is the uh, recommended um, command but I actually don't need some of these uh, and I want to modify it so I'm gonna use the option D for to, de to detach uh, the image and I don't need these ports and I also don't need these ports as well uh, so I, all I need is port 9996 all right so now the image is running to double check that I can go and say docker uh, container and the docker container is running okay so that concludes the installation of batfish server now we can use another machine or you can use the same machine for the rest of the installation which is batq all right so for batq i'm going to visit uh, the um, the uh, repository in github and look at the installation um, installation steps so for batfish uh, queue for uh, sorry for bat queue host i need to first of all i need to make sure that i have the right python uh, version and then i'll clone um, or i'll uh, install pip so that it allows me to install the requirements so let's do that so for the virtual machine that's 3.10 which good because I need at least 3.10 uh, 8 and then I can install uh, pip so I'm gonna pause until everything is done here and we are back it didn't actually take long so it's almost no pause at all now I'm gonna clone the repository itself and change to the folder all right and after that I need to install all the requirements all the uh, Python libraries that I need all right now we are done so uh, at this point you can run batq by typing stream let run uh, batq but I believe that the first time uh, actually home uh, as per the instruction 
but I think the first time it won't run so you have to log out and log in again so you try that okay so I logged out and I logged it back in um, in in Linux this is what I found I, in Windows that doesn't happen to me so I had to log out first to be able to run uh, stream you. so any you need to use the command streamlet run and then home which is the home page of batq this will uh, start browser automatically but if you are like me you're using a remote virtual machine then you have to go to the browser and uh, enter this url manually so i'm gonna go to my browser here and and here you go so that's that queue ready you can read the about now uh, i'm using version 0 0.1 by the time uh, you use or you look at this tutorial probably i have already modified it uh, so keep an eye on the version number all right so that's it for now um, i'll keep the the tutorial about bad queue itself in a different uh, in a different video um, thank you for watching this and uh, hopefully you will find uh, BetQ useful. Thank you.